Hi, my name is Ethan Reeves. I'm the developer of Genie and founder of Ifer Technologies. In this video, we're going to be going over the search features inside of Genie. To access search, click right up here, and there you have it. So first of all, a quick overview. Search is where you can search through all of the articles that you have downloaded. Now that's all of the auto-filed articles that were downloaded to just your computer. That's all of the articles that your team has added into your folders and collections. That's all articles that were auto-researched, all articles that were manually added, everything. This is a fantastic spot for you to cull through all of your content and get to exactly what you need. If there's one thing you learn to use that you learn to use very well in Genie, make it be the search features. This is where you're going to be finding most of your content and spending most of your time. Okay, let's look at Genie's powerful search features. First of all, let's look at the absolute simplest thing you can do. Come up here, click, type in the words you want to search for, and hit enter. Try to keep this broad and keywords based, because Genie is going to be looking for all articles that include all of those words, and then rank it by relevancy. So we could go, for instance, Iran, oil sabotage. Great, and he, right here we have 294 results. We can scroll down through here and see that we have a lot of great content. But the thing about Genie is that we can hone in on exactly the content we're looking for, and that's what we're going to be showing. I'm going to go through every single option that you have in the search section. First of all are these checkboxes. These control where the articles can come from. Right now we're searching auto-filed articles, query-filed articles, and manually saved articles. But if you're looking for stuff in just one of those specific bins, you could just select that checkbox. As I said before, this main box up here searches for articles containing all of these words. However, we could also do an OR-based search. So if you wanted to search for Iran or Iraq and sabotage, you would do something like sabotage and then Iran Iraq, and that's going to give us anything with sabotage and Iran or Iraq in there. You can do the same thing for none of these words. So if we were looking for Iran, sabotage, but not looking for anything about President Trump, then that would give us those results. We can also do a phrase-based query, where if we're looking for a more detailed thing where a specific phrase shows up in an article, you can type that phrase in here and search it. I would note, don't type it in there in quotes like you would in Google, just type in the phrase directly there. The next thing here is the ability to search just the title of the article. If you're looking for something that's very specifically about a specific type of content you're looking for, that might help. So we can try that, and here we can see we have nine articles that have Iran and sabotage in their title. For instance, UAE says four ships subjected to sabotage off the East Coast from Al Jazeera. Next over here we have a word count filter. Now this is one of the most underutilized features because it can let you filter what type of content you're looking for. A lot of news articles that come through are very short and blurb based and that's necessary because they're reporting on current events as they develop. But if you're looking for longer form, more analytical pieces, you can select that you want, for instance, at least a thousand words to get more detailed analysis pieces. Click search and there we have it. Here we have a great article from the, from the national interest called America Must Not Stumble Into a Third Gulf War. It's detailed, it's well referenced, it's long, it would be a great source. That's one of the things you can find by using a word count filter to get more complex articles. The other thing you can filter based upon is date. This is very useful if you're looking for more recent developments about a topic. So we can do that right here. We're going to click on date and then they can come over here and click this little drop down button. And let's say we want just stuff within this month. So that's going to search everything from the start of this month to today that is above 1,100 words and that has the words Iran and sabotage in it. Great, there we have it. A bunch of articles about what we're specifically looking for. You can also put in an end date query if you're looking for stuff specifically in the past. That might be useful if you're looking for background information or old articles about something. Once you're done with all your filters and if you just want to clear them all out back to the defaults, you can click the clear button 
and everything will reset. The last filter option that is available in the search features is this right here, pick sources. Here we can select from all of the sources that Genie has access to, all of the auto-filed sources, which sources we want to see. This is very useful if we're looking for specific sources or if we're looking for specific types of sources. So let's say that we just wanted to search for think tank articles. We could click these checkboxes, disable everything else, click apply, and well, I need to put in some search terms here. Let's go Iran sabotage. Now we can click search, and now we have just articles from think tanks about the Iranian potential sabotage in the Gulf. That's extremely useful because it lets you narrow down on exactly what you're looking for. If you have a specific favorite source, let's say we really like the Atlantic Council and the Brookings Institute and Chatham House. You can hit apply. And now we have just articles from those sources. This allows you to hone in on exactly the content that you want. And I would always recommend that you try those very specific searches because with 300,000 articles, it's probably that at least one article is exactly what you're looking for. Let's click clear again. Toggle all just to re-enable all of the sources. Okay, so that's all of the features that are available in the search options up here. Let's move down to the actual search results. One thing I'll say here is this same table you see here that lists articles is the same table anywhere in Genie that articles are listed. This means that you can use all of these same features anywhere else, whether that is inside a collection view, whether that's inside browse, looking at query filed articles, you can use all of these features there too. So let's go into that in detail. First of all, up here, we can navigate through the pages of the articles. And then down here, you can see we're on page four of 28, page five of 28, page six of 28. Go all the way back to the beginning there. The next thing available up here is filter. This is gonna let us filter the titles of the article if we wanna do another search inside of the other search to just really double down on something. Let's search for war. Okay, that's everything from this set of articles that had war in the title. This is also a great way to really quickly look for specific publications. Let's say we wanted something from The Guardian. Filter, Guardian, there we have it. Now it's just articles from The Guardian showing up here. I would highly recommend that you use that to just do a couple quick looks through the articles that you already have to find what you need. The next checkbox here is a great feature that's called Diversify. Now what Diversify does is it makes sure that you don't see two articles from the same source until you've seen an article from all of the other sources that have available articles. That sounds a little bit technical, but basically what it does is it makes sure that you don't see, for instance, five CNN articles right in a row. It's gonna show you an article from CNN, then an article from The Guardian, then an article from Time, and just diversify it all out so that you can go through and find all the different sources you need. This is very possibly one of the single most useful things in all of Genie. And like I said, you can click this diversify box anywhere you have a list of articles. And it's going to let you diversify out the sources that you can use during your speeches, during your debate rounds, during your research. The next thing up here is how many rows it's going to display. Right now we have it displaying 15 rows of articles. We could have it display 50 rows if we like scrolling more. And then the final option here is sorting. This is very useful. There are a lot of ways that you can sort the articles that show up. This is a search box, so we can sort by relevancy, which is the default. We can sort by newest, oldest, longest. For instance, if we just wanted extremely long form articles, we can have that here. We could sort by when they were saved. We could sort by when they were opened. If we wanted to see articles that we had viewed recently, a lot of things that you can do there. Okay, that's an overview of all of the search features that are available inside of Genie. Like I said, I would really recommend that you become very familiar with these, auto-file down six months worth of articles, and practice finding useful content. This is one of the most powerful and most useful parts of Genie. With the search features, with our advanced filters, with all of the options like diversifying your search results and sorting based upon relevancy, length, many other options, 
you can always find the articles that you're looking for, fast and efficient.